Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh. Bahsham Yahweh Shabbat 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 the Elder Apostles at Great Millstone for the teachings of the scriptures among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now this video is about this word. Certain words that are mentioned and written in the English do not necessarily mean the same when it is translated, when it was originally written in the Hebrew. For example, badger's skin in the Bible, in the Old Testament, that it was used to decorate the holy things, right? You can read this for yourself. I just press pause. You can press pause for yourself. This is the Apocrypha, which is the, which is the 14 books that they took out of the Bible, which they were not allowed to. But they did it anyway, so the Heavenly Father is going to destroy them for that. The wisdom of Yahweh Shai, the son of Sarah, or Ecclesiasticus. The prologue of the wisdom of Yahweh Shai, the son of Sarah. Now I'm going to jump to here. <coughs> for the same things other than Hebrew, and translated into another tongue, have not the same force in them. And not only these things... But the law itself, that's why you have a lot of people eating pork right now talking about that they could be forgiven and stuff like that. Or that it's done away with, even that, right? Or they just eat whatever they want. And the prophets also misinterpreted. And the rest of the books also misinterpreted. Have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. Right, and this is the Apocrypha. Uh, this is the second, this is page 70, this is page 71. This is the Apocrypha, how it would look, how, how, how I have it, as you can see here. You know, this is uh, the second page that I said that uh, it's page 71. So now I'm gonna just click that away. So now I'm going to go to the other one, right? 18 books were removed from the Bible in 1881. Now, like I said, the reason I'm making this is because of this word over here, which is badger skin. <coughs> now, if you would translate badger skin, not translate I mean, look it up. It would mean this, right? But if you go to the Hebrew of the word badger skin, which is 14 times mentioned in the Bible, badgers. Then you would click on the word uh, Hebrew Strong's, right? Strong's Hebrew 8476. Hebrew 8476. Which is uh, Tachash. Tachash, right? Tachash. A kind of leather skin or animal hide. Perhaps, that means you don't know, the animal yielding the skin, hmm. right? Perhaps the badger or dugong, so I, I don't even know what a dugong is, so I looked it up, of course. And it's this. Clearly, you can see that they're out of their damn mind, that the Heavenly Father is going to take this and use that as a, a covering to do the holy stuff there with, for example, dress our people and also in the book of numbers you know do the holy stuff there with and stuff like that numbers four and six and she you shall put there in the, the covering of badger skin and shall spread it over the cloth a cloth of a, a, what spread it over a cloth woolly of blue holy of blue and shall put in the staves thereof remember the color blue because a lot of things are mentioned with colors for example here exodus 25 and 5 and ram's skin dyed red and badger's skins and shit and wood we already know what wood is is just a particular wood and of course ram skin but then dyed red using all these you know herbs and flowers back in the days we used to dye our you know whatever just clothing, sorry, <clears throat> with different flowers and stuff like that. Grind them up and then uh, color them, right? Uh, let me see. 
Exodus 39 and 34, and the covering of ram's skin dyed red, and the covering of badger's skins, and the veil of the covering. All right, and then here again, you have uh, Exodus 35 and 7, and ram skin dyed red, and badger's skin, and shittim wood. Right, and here you can see the same. So now it goes into that, so now you would ask yourself, so okay, what is that animal, and why is it mentioned as that? So of course, then, uh, looked it up, if you go to the Hebrew, it says, uh, like this thing, I looked it up, and it says, uh, Tachash, right? Tachash. So it says this sea mammal thing, and then it says also dolphin skin. I say, what? So they say dolphin skin, right? And then they say, or sheep, or now extinct animal. And I know what it is. Well, I'll go to the spirit of knowing what it is because we had certain things that we did back in the days. Let me see, was it here? <coughs> Check this out. So now I typed in Tachashkin. And I'm getting a unicorn. So I thought to myself, like, you, you, unicorn? Well, I know what a unicorn is according to just logic it doesn't mention that it, it, it that it is it but through history you can remember the animals that had one horn and it was not no horse is a rhino rhino rhinos have one um, horn right that's one example because you have other animals that also had one horn which if you type in hairy rhino you see these in uh, ancient animals which they say are extinct but we know that if you type in this uh, animal, sorry, the Sumatran rhino, hairy, <coughs> the Sumatran rhino from Indonesia, if you type that in, then you can see like, oh, wait a minute. Because according to the book of Ezra, chapter, second Ezra, chapter five, the animals and man themselves, they actually became smaller because we were bigger upon the planet Earth. And that's why you see these animals, they have that hair. You know, these rhinos are being born with hair. And you also have the hairy elephant. You have the hairy elephants, when you can, which, you, which you can see right here. Which is also in Indonesia. And uh, yeah, the Asian elephants, they have hair. Which is brownish, orange-ish. <coughs> orange as you can see here. And then you would think that, that oh, so this is the woolly mammal. They, they got smaller. Right. Simple as that. As you can see through the Bible, we can just cut these devils, their philosophies and stuff like that. Because Sophia means wisdom and their philo means love. So love of wisdom. Their, their love of, <laughs> their, love of their, their wisdom is not done, uh, real wisdom, by the way. Anyway, so this is a fake thing that they put. Climate change must likely cause um, most likely so you don't know you're not sure most likely well it's most likely yellow you know <laughs> is it yellow oh, well, most likely they don't they don't know so they're just putting thoughts and guesses out there because they're trying to seem s smart but they're not and you have another one which is another one horn animal but anyway so I quickly just move this aside so I was thinking, like, what else could it be then? Right, so I was browsing around. And then I typed in ancient uh, Tashach shoes. Because it says in the book of Ezekiel 16 and 10, that the Lord shod us with badger skin. Here, Ezekiel 16 and 10. I clothed thee also with broided work. We already know what that means. But I'm going to type, I'm going to, let me show you anyway. Braided work. Blo braided clothing. Which is this. Stitches and stuff like that. These type of clothing and stuff like that. But then ancient one, of course. <coughs> Sorry. You got the ancient one. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the hell? Yeah, until this day you have, for example, Asian people that still do the same thing here. So, yeah, this for example, right. Okay, another example, uh, done with the example. I clothed thee also with broided work. And shod thee with badges, skins. 
So if you type in the word shod, did I type it here already? No. Type in the word shod. Shod, fit a horse with a shoe or shoes. So shodding something is, is putting shoes on somebody's feet. <clears throat> so that's what the Lord did to us, basically symbolically, and also is used uh, literally in the other verses concerning that we had uh, slippers and sandals and stuff like that. And you can also see that here in the museums here, as you can see, ancient leaf sandals, you know, but but it says, it does say that the is the shach, right? Wait, let me go up in there. Right, let me, let me focus. <clears throat> Sheep or now extinct animal. Right, so it might have been one of those according to them. But we would kind of direct more toward these type of animals. Sheep, goat, or maybe an animal that is not here anymore. Like that rhino that I just showed you. But that rhino just got smaller. That's the... That's the thing, actually. Now, you also had the same word, which is the shah, which is the cha, sha, the shah. And this is the same word, but here is Hebrew 8476. And this is Hebrew 8477. It's the same word. Don't mind these little dots and their stripes. That's not, that's not Hebrew. That's Yiddish. Right, so, and it says the tachash. It says uh, dudong, dugong, which is the animal that I just showed you. I don't, I don't believe that. Now he he was the son of uh, Nahor, in the book of Genesis chapter twenty-two. So if you go to the Genesis lexicon, right, then you go you check it tachashen. It says here ancient version of understand it. Wait, wait. The ancient versions understanding it to be the color of a skin the color of a skin right so and we just i just showed you that i'll get to that i'll get to that i didn't show it yet by the way <laughs> i thought i did it says here second badgers and suitable three etymology of this word dun, 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 dun. so I'm gonna go just go to the point which I see which Arabs so wait here to give my opinion the Hebrews seem to have at once designated by this one word this what this 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 this, this okay wait, wait. With the Arabs and the Western nations apply to only particular species, the seal, the badger, and other similar creatures, which they neither knew nor distinguished with accuracy. So they don't know. That's all the whole point. They're just guessing. <clears throat> but we have a better guess to the Spirit of the Lord, of course. Now, this is a website that I fell upon while looking for this. What was the Tahash or Tak? Hash, according to them, it's pronounced like that. Tag hash covering in the tabernacle, animal, vegetable, or mineral. Because I just showed you also here that, well, you can make clothing off of this thing. Well, not clothing. You you can make clothing off of this. Thing. Like this is in the museum from an ancient Egyptian sandals woven by palm, palm leaves, and this is of course coconut leaves. Coconut leaves. This one, we still have these things, so uh, like where I come from, but uh, these things also where I come from. But it was a Suriname, by the way, in South America. And these things, we use these things like you know, for storing stuff. You can even store clothing with it. And by the way, Esau does it until this day in the bathtub, I mean, the bathroom, you know, because these things they kind of don't really get messed up when they're wet like here you can store stuff clothing and stuff like that you know or books you know right anyway uh, sandals and stuff like that okay cool cat but now so I looked up that word here 
Okay, so now he, he this person doesn't know, and the seriology from Assyria, seriology and archaeologically, what? I have a problem pronouncing this word, archaeologic, archaeologically, <laughs> you know they they dig up stuff, provide an answer to an ancient, to an ancient question. Archaeology, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Exotic animals in the wilderness. Exodus describes how the Israelites in the wilderness were instructed to make contributions toward constructing a tabernacle within the glory of Yahweh. Was which was sorry within which the glory of Yahweh was to dwell. In addition to the precision, sorry, to the precious metal go, metals, gold, silver, copper, they brought as commanded. Okay. A lot of colors were used. I did videos about this, or uh, videos about the Exodus and stuff like that. Okay. So now going over here, the Takash. Meaning of Takash, okay. First is a personal name from the Nahor son, Genesis 22, 24. And then you have a covering, which is what they use for the holy things in the Bible. And then you have a, a material for shoes. You know, so with that, right. So... It could be one of these. No, no, no. Let me say it better. It is one of these th three things. Well, it could be, but no, 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 no. I still say it didn't say it good. Let me see. Yeah, we know it is for the. Sh we it could be for shoes. That's what I'm looking for. But it could be also for clothing. Okay. So not only for shoes, and it and it could also be a name. It could, it could be used for a name. That's that's I think that's what I want to say. Right. Now, going on. Now, this is the word uh, hyacinth. Now, it says here, uh, the, I think lex this is lexicon, as you can see here. LXX, where is it? Yeah, you had the lexicon, but then uh, what was the LXX again? Damn it. Did I lose it? Okay, okay, irritating. Okay, sorry about that. Now, LXX and Josephus. I forgot what the LXX is, man. Uh, so, Josephus, highest in blue, right? Our earliest source for interpretation of the word Tahash or Tatash is the Septuagint, the ancient Greek translation of the Torah, which the Torah was translated, it was for Hebrew, and then translated into the Greek, and then from the Greek. And the Hebrew, uh, it was translated into the English. Now, and you already have a lot of translations going wrong there, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video in the Apocrypha. Now, the Pentateuch translation dates back to the 3rd century BC, which is before Yahushai came on the scene. Now it says here, throughout Exodus and Numbers, in, and in Ezekiel, which I just read, also by the way, 16 and 10, the Septuagint consistently translates Tahash or Takhash by derivatives of Hyacinth. Now what is a Hyacinth? Of course I googled it, because I was like, that sounds like a plant, right? And it is. So Hyacinth, but... I typed in hyacinth skins. This is another way that shows you that these Edomites are using particular things, names of the scriptures within their games. I have seen a few, you know, um, demons. And, uh, Hollow Fairness and Witcher or something. Hollow Fairness in uh, The Witcher. He was a dwarf in The Witcher. Yeah, look at him here. This guy was named Hollow Fairness. So when I saw that, I was like, hey, <laughs> these people be taking these names. And then they put it in their games and stuff like that. You know, but anyway, right. So Hyacinth. Hyacinth is the color blue. Right. Okay, so we know that it's a plant. So the Septuagint would call it a plant, but I'm still not sure about that. It could go into it, but let me read on, and, and, and it's going to kind of be a little better to 
kind of understand. So it says here, okay, hyacinth skins. So you think like, okay, a plant skin? Eh, it could be that they take this and dye the clothing with it. It could be that, you know, they grind this up and then dye it with it, you know, right? Uh, derma, which is uh, skin. Okay, that is hides presumably of goats or sheep. You see, it says that basically how you have the Genesis 25 and 5. Let me see if, uh, or was it? No, it was it was Exodus. Oh, what was it? Leviticus. Oh, yeah, Genesis 20. No, it says here 25 and 4 and blue. No, let me start maybe here. And this is the offering which ye shall take of them, gold, and silver, and brass, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, and ram's skin dyed red, and badger's skin, and shittim wood, oil for the light, spices for anointing oil, and for sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set in an ephod, in the ephod. And in the breastplate, right? So stuff like that. Ornaments and gold and silver and all these beautiful type of things. So, it says here, uh, Presumably, of goats or sheep dyed the color of hyacinths. Well, that is one example compared to the badger skin, right? Because it's, it, it, it's not a badger, by the way. Tahash. Tag hash, whatever. Then, it is not an animal, but a die. Uh, that's what you would uh, give the indication toward uh, this guy. But we're not 100% sure about that. Well, there they end. Josephus, two, list among the materials provided for the tabernacle, goat's hair and sheep's skin. Some dyed blue. And yes, I just read, some dyed red. So, okay, we're getting a little bit there, as you can see. And it mentioned goat's hair, goat's hair, but it, it separately mentions badger skin. But like I said, this word is totally different from what it actually was in the Hebrew. That's the point of this video, by the way, that, the, um, you know, these words, right? I'm going to leave this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, going on. Now, badges, seals, and dolphins. The animals interpreted continue to develop. I have lost counts of how many times when we have read the tabernacle Torah portions, uh, portions in the synagogue. People have questioned me about the word, about, you know, no, Tachash. It says here, Tachash. Depending on the translation they use, right? They want to know what were badges king james translation seals gps 1915 or dolphins new gps 1985 doing in the wilderness so here it is you have three different translation and in three different translations they have three different animals a seal is furry uh, and an animal or that go you know mammal badges are furry and they are land animals this one is land and sea and this one is only sea and it's not furry at all all right so like i said i'm gonna just jump to the <coughs> points it says here that bible to us sorts of critic animals not only gen 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 seals but and the dolphins a kind of torta porta so porpoise at least you know this type of animal so now we already have four animals and stuff like that this one and the other one that i mentioned before and then this one it's just it's just crazy so right and also yeah the dudong that thing beaded leather that's when you have made the clothing and then you do this for example which is broided work is braided together so broided and, uh, okay likely da, da, da. his name was uh, a bead maker that is bead maker sorry not his name I mean the son of Nahor Nahor was the hush 
Yeah, that is beat maker embroidered with da, 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 da. This is likely the meaning of Nahor, the name Nahor's son, Tahash, because they translate his name like a dudong. Here, they translate his name like dugong. Sorry, not a dudong, a dugong. But more accurately, his name would be then bead maker or embroider of leather with beads, which would probably be more bead maker or whatever. But anyway, going on. Here you can see shoes that is uh, taken from these Hamites. And the reason why they uplift the Hamites is because, do you know, they, they, they uplift Hamites. And they want our people to, they, they glorify these wicked kingdoms because the Hamites had us in slavery also. So they glorify them too. And they was the first nation to actually really have an established kingdom upon the planet Earth. Deuteronomy 7 speaks it also which were the Canaanites, which were seven nations mightier and greater than the Israelites. Right, so it says here, beaded heights are for many points, da, 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 da. royal strong, blah, 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 blah. But then, um, right, so now let me go here. Okay, now this is actually the website that it's, is going to give the answer even better. Like I said, I looked up this thing. Uh, this, this. Right, uh, as you can see, this word over here. I go serene animal. I go serene animal. Somewhere around here I grabbed it. And then I looked it up. Oh yeah, here. I go serene. So, I'm going to just read the colored things, okay? Okay, badger. This is a badger. And all this there are red. I'm gonna put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, as, as mentioned, this is mentioned, it's not really 100% that important. And then I saw this animal that is named the Tachaitsi. The Tachaitsi. Or Takaitsi. But the, the, the Tachaitsi, whatever. Uh, which is an antelope Barbata. Or Barbata. 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 So let me just read this. So, uh, yeah, this is an animal. Tichius Mantas or something like that, which is that thing over there, right? And then you have a kind of seal or some kind of seal or badger on a similar creature of modern writers. Dr. Kito thinks that the Takash or Takash denotes some clean animal. Yeah, because, wait, let me read on. As in all probability, the skin of an unclean animal would not have been used for the sacred coverings and all these animals that I just mentioned before except for the for the deer the, the so-called uh, this the antelope type thing all these animals they're actually unclean because they chew it not the cud so it would not be plausible for those animals being used for the holy things like the, the covering of the Ark of the Covenant right the corresponding Arabic word is not only a dolphin, but also a seal and seals. Sorry, but also a seal. And seals were numerous on the shores of Pensuna, Pensunula, Peninsula, sorry, Peninsula of Sinai. The etymology of the word in Hebrews is favorable to this view. From the root Chashash, ha shach, chashach, right, chashach, oh no, um, chasha, sorry, chasha, to rest. And seals no less than badgers are somnolent animals. Okay, pop, okay, that is what he suggests. But he's, he's, he's kind of great when he, when he says this thing, that's why I colored it red. Now the Takash has also been identified with the, well, this thing which wouldn't make any sense. It's called a sea cow in the English, in the Dutch, sorry. It's called a sea cow in the Dutch. But anyway, oh, it's, it's called a sea cow here too. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even freaking read that, oh, sorry. And with the sea cow called, uh, da, 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 or dung dung, whatever, right. 
and others find it in an, in an animal in the hyena kind. So they they're all over the place. They're all over the place. But what is the